Good morning, YouTube. It's November the 13th. I um, hope you're doing well. I'm starting off a new vlog, but I thought Autumn and my cat is a better sight than me at the moment. <laughs> so yesterday I put up a vlog showing um, that I lost five and a half pounds in four days. So I started at 218 pounds. And then when I got on the scale yesterday before my refeed, I was 212 and a half pounds. Good morning, guys. It is the Saturday, the 12th of November. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's the cat. I started fasting um, earlier on this week. I did a three day, no, not a three day fast, like a 50 hour fast. Then I broke it and then I've done a three day fast, which I'm breaking today. So I started at 218. So I'm gonna get on the scale now. Um, I'm gonna have to put the phone down though because um, it does affect the scale reading. So let's go. I'm still here guys, bear with me. So, okay, that's not too bad, two twelve and a half. So yeah, I lost five and a half pounds. And so, because I've had a refeed, I'm getting on the scale this morning to check I've not put any weight on. The goal for me is always don't put on any weight on a refeed day. So I can't be any more than 212 and a half pounds. So I'm gonna go over to the scale. Let's go and have a look. So here we are. I'm not going to hold the phone um, whilst I get on the scale as usual. I don't want it to affect my reading, um, but I'll stay. I'll still be here. Okay, bear with me. I'm still here, guys. I'm just getting onto the scale, and I am ecstatic. Look at that. Twelve, two twelve. So I've actually lost half a pound, even though I had a refeed yesterday. Get in there. Hi YouTube, it is November the 15th, it's 9.48 in the morning, it's a very dark outside, it's rainy, it's like a proper autumn slash winter's morning, but I wanted to come on um, in between my calls and working and just kind of update you. So yesterday, which was Monday, was supposed to be the start of a three day fast. I fasted all the way until 7pm, then I really struggled and I broke. Um, in my defence, it's that time of the month and I felt really weak and I just felt like, do you know what, it's just not that deep and now I'm back on another fast until Saturday. I feel like I'm all right. You know, I always say, listen to your body. I say I'm on a fast now from Tuesday to Saturday, which is just over four days. But if for any reason I need to break, I will break. It's just not that deep, guys. The thing is, the last the last refeed that I did, not yesterday, the day before, or the day before that, <laughs> I was so ecstatic when I woke up. You saw it at the beginning of the video. And I had refed well meaning I didn't put any weight on. I felt like I was, like I, I did a good refeed. I ate healthy, I ate nice food. And then I got up the next morning and I was half a pound down, which tells me it, what I'm trying to do is working. Cause in the past for me, it's, all, it's always been like, like you've got food on your plate. It's like, don't waste it, finish it. Even if you're full, which now I'm realizing that doesn't make sense. Like if you feel like you're getting there, you don't have to eat until you're like, oh my God, I'm so full. It's, it's okay to be like, okay, so I'm finished eating now. Let me jump back into another fast. And so I've been working on that and happy to see that it's, it is working. So yeah, I'm on a fast from today until Saturday, which is just over four days. And if in between that time I need to break for any reason, I will. Um, hopefully I won't because I want to get this ni nice and long four day fast out of the way. Have a nice, um, I'm having OMAD on Saturday, OMAD on Sunday, and then right back into another, th I think, three or four day fast. Um, I will be getting back in the gym. Um, my plan is to be in the gym consistently. I always say this. Before it was definitely laziness. Now it's, I just, I can't go in to the gym until the end of the week. And, and when I, once I'm back in the gym, I'm gonna be recording what I can. I think I'll be in the gym alone. So it's a bit difficult to record when I'm alone. I'll try and do what I can do. I'll try and record all of my refeeds um, and just kind of get it all out there. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and update you, but I've got to make a call now. So I've got to go uh, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. YouTube, it's November the 17th. It's after 10 in the morning. I am at work. Wanted to come on and give you a quick update on one of the last clips I spoke about how I had to break a fast because I was menstruating and it was difficult. After that, things did get worse for me. So I try to prevent menstruating sometimes, if I'm honest. Um, so I take tablets because they're so, it's so bad. Um, but then I decided I don't want to be taking these chemicals into my body. I'm trying to fast. I'm trying to have a healthy body. So I came off it and boy. So 
one of the times last year I was menstruating and I was on a really long fast and my menstrual cycle was very light, a lot lighter than it normally is. So I thought it was down to the fasting. So I thought, okay, if I'm fasting every time, it's that time of the month. It will help with my problem, not this time. Um, at one point I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room. I was um, bleeding a lot. I, there was a lot of clots. I was very weak, dizzy. Um, I didn't want to break my fast. I felt guilty. I felt like I've got this goal. I've got this challenge. I want to be £150 by Christmas. I can't keep breaking fasts. So I pushed it and I pushed it until I felt like, no. And now I need to listen to my body. So I just ate. But the problem is, if you get into this kind of a situation, or I would think that I should have had a window. So let's say a three, four, five hour window in that day and ate healthy, which was the plan. But it turned out that I ate from like lunchtime to bed time two days in a row the last two days and that also included bread so I'm really just not happy about that may have put myself back a little bit I don't know because I don't go on the scale every single day but I just wanted to come on and be transparent that sometimes things get in the way and it's how you tackle that that, that particular situation um, so I do feel much better now I'm on a fast I started back like last night which was Wednesday night and I'm going through till Sunday which is just over three days for the rest of November I have basically just 72s three day fasts but there is two occasions where I'm doing a four day fast just because of my social situation and I've always said I'd rather extend a fast than break one early I'll be going back to the gym this evening I'm ready now my body I think is ready to get back into the gym and I'll record that for you but yeah I just wanted to come on and let you know what was going on I haven't recorded for the last two days because there was nothing good to record so I don't want to go to the gym what time is it Malachi bear with me 10.49 10.49pm I'm not going to lie to you guys I know I said I was going gym I don't feel like it in the slightest I'm tired I've got to get up early in the morning for work I just don't feel like it That's what makes it what it is That's what makes it what it is She doesn't want to go She's still going That's what makes her a beast That's why you're a beast I'll see you there guys <laughs> So it's the day after, the night before, it's November the 18th, it's after 11 in the morning, I'm at work. As you saw, I went to the gym with a fight. So when I got in from work yesterday, about half four, I said to my son, look, I want to go to the gym today, I need to get back in the gym. Um, but I know what I'm like, once I'm chilled out, I'm not going to want to go anywhere. So I says to him, look, no matter what excuses I give you, help me. <laughs> help me. So it was about half nine, I was in my pyjamas, I was all cosy in my bed watching things on YouTube. I think I was watching a dog training video. I don't know, but I was just happy in my space. And then Malachi comes in, and that's my son. Oh, come on then. And I just thought, no. I gave him all the excuses, and he he didn't take any of them. And um, he went away for a bit, like half an hour, and I thought, yes, I'm not going gym. Then he comes back. Come on then, Mum, what are you doing? And he just made me feel so bad. So I got up and that's when you saw me complaining at the bottom of the stairs. So I don't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like it in the slightest. I'm tired. I've got to get up early in the morning for work. I just don't feel like it. But they always say like the only workout you regret is the one you didn't do and it's so true. Um, because, and what else do they say? You never will get a workout. And so while I was there, I felt like I wasn't as strong because I've been off for about two weeks. So I expected that. And a bit like, well, what am I doing? But then aside from that, when I got home, I was so happy. I was like, I'm so glad I went. So, you know, props, shout out to Malachi. That's what makes it what it is. She doesn't want to go. She's still going. That's what makes her a beast. That's why you're a beast. Um, so, yes, today's supposed to be a leg day. Um, but, yeah, it's like sometimes I just need to do something once, like a full day of fasting or get back in the gym for me to build some kind of momentum. I don't need to go for a week to build it. So I feel like I'm back in. Um, and, yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Hi guys, it's November 28th, so it's been a minute since I last picked up the camera, um, but I just wanted to give you an update before I put this video up. So from um, my last clips, you would have seen that I was 2.12 the last time I weighed in, no, 2.12 and a half, 
yeah, the last time that I weighed in. And then what happened, I had a refeed. The next morning I was 2.12, so I lost half a pound and I was ecstatic about that. Um, and since then, what's been happening? So I've been like doing fantastic. I just wanna say that first. I'm proud of where I am at the moment. Let's turn this heating up a little bit. I'm a bit, I'm a bit cold. Right then, so the i think it was last week about three days i had crippling migraines i've mentioned before on the channel i've had migraines since i was about eight years old and i feel like as i'm getting older they are getting worse um so when i was having those migraines i'm not going to pretend that i was fasting i wasn't i was having soup i felt whatever i felt like i was just having because i just felt like maybe eating something would help i don't know um so one of the days that I had a really bad migraine, my auntie, it's actually my, my dad's aunt, who um, she lives in Jamaica, she called me to see how I was and I was like, oh, I've got a really bad migraine. She's like, oh, you have them too. And I was like, what do you mean two? Is this a thing? So she was telling me that she had them when she was younger and she grew out of them, but they were quite bad. And her sister, who is my dad's mum, she had them quite bad as well. So I was like, okay, so it's like hereditary. So is this just my life? So that kind of threw me off a little bit. But aside from that, I've been going to the gym every day, guys. And I've been fasting, do my three day fast. And I've been eating healthier. I'm not gonna say healthy, I'm gonna say healthier because it still could be a little bit cleaner in my opinion. So that like less meat, um, less carbs, less meat and less carbs. Anyway. So I've been, like I said, I've been going to the gym. I've been doing my fasts. I've been eating healthier. Um, the only thing that I've found that it's become an issue, well, no, it was a little bit of an issue, but it's been an issue in the past as well. And that's the bloody scale. Like we've spoken about this scale. It's like, it's like the scale just really isn't my friend. So the last time I weighed um, on the camera, I was 212 pounds. And so, I probably stuck her at around that for a bit when I had my migraines and I was still eating. And then when I got back on track, it dropped. So one morning I was, I think I was 209 pounds. I was like, okay, we're going in the right direction. It wasn't an eating day. So I literally fasted the rest of that day. Got up the next morning. Bear in mind, usually I lose about two to three pounds per fast when I haven't messed up. If I've done like a proper clean fast, I lose two to three pounds. The next morning I woke up and I was expecting, okay, it was 209 the day before, so I'm expecting to be less. It was 200 and I think 10 or 211 pounds and I was like okay explain to me how I've not drank or ate anything today and the night before I hadn't drank much water or anything so why has the scale gone up so I'm moving the scale now around the house and it's like going up like 212 and then it's coming down 206 202 so I'm like okay this scale can't be relied on it can't be relied on I know we've had this conversation before but you know like I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm documenting documenting it and like the goal was 150 pounds so because of that it would be brilliant if I could show that the scale is going down but we can't rely on that anymore guys so there's a new plan there's a new plan the goal for me is 150 pounds because when I was at around 150 pounds that's when I was the most happy with my body the goal is only 150 because I know what it's going to look like at 150 if, if that makes sense which is a flat stomach and just feeling more comfortable naked in a bathing suit in a tight dress you know no muffin top all of that so my new goal should be to have that body by christmas rather than to say the set number because if i for example i know this is going to be a slight exaggeration but if i got on the scale right at christmas or the end of the year and it said i was 300 pounds right which i've never been but i can imagine it's going to be a lot bigger than i am now but if it said 300 pound on the scale but i looked in the mirror and i looked like what i wanted to look like then i wouldn't care about what the scale said if that makes sense so my point is let's not just folk I, I will continue to document what the scale says just for the purpose of my videos but i'm no longer focusing on the number on the scale because i'm honestly this is why about a year or two ago i just completely left the scale alone and just focused on what i was supposed to be doing because back then it would throw me off it would make me miserable it can't do that to me now just because i'm i'm in a different place my mindset is different i'm more sure of myself and all that stuff 
But it's annoying to see the scale go up despite you having fasted for a couple of days or a day or whatever. So I'm doing the, the, the weighing for you guys. I'm not interested in the scale. I'm just interested in fasting when I'm supposed to be fasting, eating healthier, getting in that gym, moving more. And that's another thing. That is definitely another thing. Before the scale was going down consistently, and a, a difference in how you know what's going on is the fact that I'm back in the gym. I'm back in the gym consistently. I don't do much cardio, guys. I do 10 minutes. I try to burn 100 calories in that 10 minutes, and then I get to the the weights. I love weights. You know, I love weights. I love to lift. I love to push weights. That's me. And I do go quite hard. So that is obviously going to have an effect as well when I'm in the gym. The gym. When I'm in the gym, I'm drinking more water than if I was at home. So there's a lot of things that have changed, and the scale is not my friend so i'm focusing on is my are my arms getting smaller are these jeans fitting better do i feel more confident in in a bathing suit all that kind of stuff so i just wanted to come on so i could let you guys know this is where we are and my mindset is switched to more of do i look like what i want to look like rather than does the scale say what i want it to say does that make sense so you're all up today. I hope you guys are all fulfilling your dreams, your goals, and that you are motivated. If you're struggling, as I said in one of my posts, today is a new day. Just keep getting up and trying again. Watch your videos on YouTube, get some motivation, and just remember this, guys, if you don't do it, what is the alternative? That it doesn't get done as you stay as you are or you get worse. So find it in you to do it even if it's just little changes each day so if you usually have two chocolates a day maybe have one you know what i mean if you usually go for a five minute walk go for a 10 minute walk just little changes if you can't do it all at once just make that change and let's go into the new year just feeling healthier and better and just ready to smash and accomplish more goals right thank you guys for watching um i'm gonna get on to my next vlog now just let me know if there's anything that i'm not doing that you want me to do so like if you want me to cook a meal on camera i'll cook a meal on camera Record more sessions in the gym i'll find somebody to record me and i'll do that yeah just let me know if there's anything you want to see that i'm not providing and yeah enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you in the next one guys